Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI. This is Taskmaster Series 7 Complete Outtakes Part 1 Line Taskmaster. Series 7 was really, really good. I, I'm conflicted whether Series 7 or Series 4 is my favorite of all of them. And when I get through to Series 10, which is the next one, uh, I'm on Series 9 now, just about to start it. Um, once we get to series 10, I might try and do the, uh, unenviable task of ranking the seasons. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Godlyman, Nappet, Wang, Gibson, Acaster. These are the legends that were on series 7 of Taskmaster. And I can't wait to get more of this. Uh, at the end of every season is always a little bit bittersweet because I'm like, oh, I'm just getting really like into these comedians and their personalities and their stories and everything like that. And I mean, you can't drag it out longer than 10 episodes, but for me, only seeing these people for the first time, when it gets to the end of the 10, I'm like, oh, give me more. So if you want early access to my Taskmaster videos, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. That's where you can get it for $5 redos. And this video will be a full-length version on there as well, so you can go check out. There's some full-length Taskmaster, but not the episodes. I just want to make that clear. But let's get into the outtakes. This is Taskmaster Season 7 Outtakes. Why are you wearing long johns? <laughs> I always wear long johns. You wear winter underwear at the peak of summer. It's only... <laughs> Have you got them on now? Of course I've got them on. It's only winter underwear if you wear it in the winter, or <laughs> if, you, if you wear it in the summer wear. Show me. <laughs> oh, we don't need to see Alex Horn's long johns. They will have to see. Oh, there goes my heart, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Alex. What? I've never worn a pair of long johns in my life. Only humans and armadillos that can get leprosy. So oh. there goes the bonus point. Okay. James Acaster. 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 I thought there were so many creatures who've got leprosy. Mm. I've been worried sick. <laughs> Although you are a human. <laughs> <laughs> Best noise, eh? Best noise. Good. What noises do you like? I like... Do you like this? The rustling of... <laughs> <laughs> it's such a honk. But before I do, do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Taste the noise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up first? Taste the noise. I am approachable to a fault. To a fault. <laughs> she What's is. the scariest film you've ever seen? Um, I don't like them. Blair Witch. That was the last time one I watched. I still think about it. <laughs> so hasn't seen um, Blair Witch. Try and make it sound. I've not scary. seen it. Oh, well, there. Try and make it sound scary to James. There's a lady in a forest. I think. I can't really... All right, hang on a second. Hang on, I need to take a moment for this. Nappert, I love her so much. She is approachable to a fault. They said that she was like um, Big Bird at one point, and somehow it's just like the most accurate description of her, and she's such an amazing... I don't know, and she... What if she was like a real piece of shit behind the scenes kind of thing? I don't think she is. I don't think it's possible, but... Can you imagine it? Well, actually, let's 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 see Nappert make Blair Witch uh, t sound scary to Acaster. And she's filming herself on a phone. No, it's not a phone. <laughs> Scared? <It> sounds hot. <laughs> she's got all snot dripping down her nose. Oh. And then the only other bit I can remember is when they get, you go into a room and then <laughs> there's someone standing against the wall like this. I've got my eyes closed. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, oh, he opened them. Was Greg gonna go? Oh! Most boring film I've ever heard. <laughs> a lady with a snotty nose walks into a room and someone standing next to a wall. <laughs> I've never taken more than five minutes to finish a meal. This is a genuine fact about me. 
Yeah. What the fuck? I believe that, actually. You know, I definitely believe that. My stepdad, he eats food so quick. Spaghetti is his favorite meal. He eats it like piping hot. I was a teenager once, and I was like, <laughs> I was a teenager once. The meal was served, and I went into that meal with the pre idea of like, I'm gonna finish mine before he finishes his. He didn't even know we were racing. And I had like a quarter of it, and I was nearly dying, and he had already inhaled a whole goddamn bowl of piping hot spaghetti. So I can't remember how we got onto this, but let's go. Oh, that's right, Alex Horn. Any meal. Any meal. <laughs> All you can eat. What about that? Times. Okay, well, none of them uh, did it as quick as it takes me to eat a meal. <laughs> All right, Alex Horn. Wow. James or Ross? Well, my feeling. I don't like braggadocious Alex Horn. Okay. Do you want me to test you on whether he looked dramatically different on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, so I show you yes. some pictures, and you say. I fucking loved that task. I'm pretty sure that made it in my top seven of season seven. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, the elevator one where Acaster was trying to like stop the elevator fucking killed me. James Acaster. Okay, this. James Acaster. Yep, this. James Acaster. Yep, this one. James Acaster. Yep. <laughs> a baboon. Yep, this one. James Acaster. <laughs> so good. And we've got Phil. I'm going to use the word languishing on six. Languishing, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Phil is wanguishing. I'm, I'm, can I make that my joke? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Go on, we're, 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 we're. He's going to steal his joke. Not a problem. Unbelievable. That's classic for me in this you program. It, it does sound very racist in your mind. Oh, Listen, let's let's, <laughs> let's let's do this formally. Let's, oh, no. let's get Alex to do the joke, and then let's get a shot of you all looking uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so f <laughs> come on, come on, little Alex. So Phil uh, is languishing. What? In the uh. <laughs> God, you all right, Phil? Disgusting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> He's actually going red as well. <laughs> it, 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 from my seat, that was horrible. From where I <laughs> yeah, well, racial hatred is. <laughs> is it worth doing a version when that doesn't happen? <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! Are you going to say wanguishing? I'll say wanguishing, and yeah. everyone cheers. Okay. <laughs> uh, is this Phil is. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Alex. Alex. Uh, is it nervous wreck? Yeah. <laughs> in this episode, Phil is languishing. Uh, Alex. Wanguishing. God, that was fucking amazing. That whole bit was just... <laughs> uh, when I started watching this, early in season one, <laughs> Greg makes Alex sound like a bigot at one point. And somebody in a comment somewhere is like, you'll see more of that. And we've seen bits and pieces of it, but holy shit, that was definitely the best example of that. Fuck me. Whew. All right. All right, roll it up. Roll it up. Let's rack them up. That sounds worse. Hit the tape. You've got... Have I got any brothers or sisters? Uh, uh, You've got a sister. We know that. I happily fill in a few gaps uh, for Alex. If <laughs> oh, is this an opportunity for you to start being horrible to me before the show started? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because Greg's mattress looked like... Uh, well, in the landlord's words, you're not getting that 500 quid back. <laughs> I would like to make it very clear that I simply spilled a pot of coffee on it. <laughs> oh, God. You just sweat or shit? And separately. I'd also say... You spilled cream at the front and coffee at the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you shot me and then shot my laptop. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, clap like you 
<laughs> he shot me in the back with a spud gun. <laughs> a spud gun? And when, gun. I, when, he, when I turned round, he aimed again, took fire, I ducked and he smashed the laptop screen. Oh, shit. And this is what he did. Well, that appears to be my map. <laughs> There's no point in this. This is just a bit of fun for you, Greg. Ah. Oh, here we go. Go on. What is this one? Oh, Alex, are you just going to make them walk up and down stairs for no fucking reason? Make the most valuable contributions to a ten-line poem about the Taskmaster. Eight you must write lines. and deliver the oh, third wow. and seventh you must lines. Write and yeah, fuck yeah. Why was this not in the um, series? This sounds awesome. It's our That's 50th good show, so I'm sure this is going to sum up uh, the respect that all of you have. All right, why is there no points at stake? How bad is this poem? Who knows what the Taskmaster wants? Fetid waste of human offcuts. <laughs> Genghis Khan, do his trousers up. <laughs> Beware the wrath, the dictator. Let's share a bath, a potato, a love a laugh, and Greg Davies. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that good, I, but I love the concept of it. And Nappert's delivery was on point. Good, uh, Jessica, uh, recognising that I'm a dictator. <laughs> and the rest of you, as far as I can see, just said that I'm a fat pig who eats anything you can get. <laughs> I bought in the key to my heart. <gasps> Ice cream. Oh, wasn't he supposed to bring something else in? Somebody mentioned something in the comments at some point. Once upon a time. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like it. <laughs> Sit on here and say it. <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Dad. Oh. I don't know where to put it. It's fucking awkward. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <coughs> yeah. Well, well this isn't going to help. Alex has got up. an incredibly warm anus. <laughs> <laughs> you Get bought it. them from Gandhi. But uh, I bought them. I got them. From his friend. Oh. <laughs> what was his friend's name? Ah, uh, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi's best friend yeah. was from New York City, and his Teddy. name was Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> Second name? Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> History's <laughs> almost <laughs> erased, Teddy Chuck, out of the whole <laughs> crucial protest. <laughs> oh, oh man. You know, you know what? I'm pretty sure he got a pretty good score for that. And if he left that, they left that in, I would have been way on board with that because that was hilarious. Greg and Acasta seem to just be on the same page with this. They're on the same page with this. All right, there's a tiny bit left of this one. Then there's part two. Let's go. Tidy up, please, pig. Yeah. And the pig goes. <laughs> <laughs> Puts them all in the box. Well, we're thinking about it. Yeah, that pig <laughs> sounds like an absolute sucker. <laughs> Just tidy it up all the time. And meanwhile, it's still got to be a pig. <laughs> End of its life. Probably that person's just going to be like, Pig, oh, you go and put the oven on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, season seven was something special. A Caster and Rod Gilbert, like the two of them, not just because they had their, their little beef, but just the two of them in one season is like, that is insane. Like they are just two of like, if there was like a top five of like just strong, like really, really good entertaining personalities, those guys would probably be easy in the top five of everybody I've seen in this. Gedroid is number one, of course. All right, let's have a look at part two of this. So given the title creepiest thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not a picture of you at all. It is a short film. <laughs> I remember the intro to this. What was the show? Oh, that's right. This is when he's this is when he's in his house, isn't it? Call it the party. Yeah. The after party. But otherwise, the title is longer yeah, than yeah. the film. Okay, yeah, let's call it the party. Okay, let's call it... Um, <laughs> do you want me to try and call it the thing that's written on the thing? Just call it, what, call it whatever you want. Let's just... Well, shall <laughs> I... Well, show you the VHS. When your friend tells you he's leaving... Check. 
Would you would you like to see the film? I would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks fucking feral in that as well. <laughs> Anyone who can embarrass Greg deserves points. You saw everybody from that part, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't go to bed for another hour after everyone left. <laughs> oh, really? To stay in there long enough for the sun to come up, so that there was a bit of light coming through the blind at the back, so I had enough light on Greg because the first shots were just pitch dark. Oh my God! Really? So I was in there for about two or three hours. Oh, I mean, you're. <laughs> Then I mean, when did you convert it, it onto VHS? <laughs> the VHS oh, no, we had, had one of those old video cameras. <laughs> <laughs> VHS is just a, a, a prop for the show, so you've got something to take away with you. Good. Yeah. Well, well, I'll, uh... I'll email you the thing if you win. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> this will not go unanswered. <laughs> really? Comments. Let me know. What was the repercussions? One of the items I left behind was a fez that looked exactly like that, and I instantly put it on, took a photo of myself and sent it to all my friends. I did that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that text. No. <laughs> well, I think if, if by the end of the day... With a Satsuma... Come on, man. Come on. It's, cl it's, it's clear as day, is it not, audience? <laughs> I think the audience were pretty vocal earlier in the show. <laughs> then their opinion didn't matter. <laughs> there was literally a moment there where the penny dropped. Rob's a popular comedian. I put it to the public. <laughs> but it's not po I believe I have already reacted to this part of it. I'm not sure though. But let's watch some Rage Caster regardless. <laughs> well, now you can back into a Satsuma and shove it up your ass. It's a great line. Godlyman is like, yes! Bosh! And you had one of the production crew dancing in a Santa Claus outfit and you won! <laughs> you won! <laughs> you win! That is, that is, that's all you had! And a box of confetti and you were javelin through a door! <laughs> <laughs> Confetti, yes. fanfare, fireworks, and uh, just the name Richard Osman mean nothing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you had. I launched a javelin straight through the door of the caravan. Yes, but Rob, we can't. We've got to stop doing this. You can't just nearly kill Alex every <laughs> time. <laughs> do you know, yeah, do you know what I was doing? Honest. Do you know what I was doing when you were throwing a javelin for a caravan? Yes, let's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And there are so many parts of this season all just like coming together in this one moment. Woo! <laughs> that was a rush. I Phil uh, found a lime, so he gets <laughs> he gets zero. He gets zero. Lime. <laughs> and then Rod was the quickest, but are you accepting it? I um. Even James would accept that. I don't fits the bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need a moment after Ragecaster. That was such a fucking great moment. It really was. I mean, that's got to be up there with. I still think the potato throw is one of my favorite moments of all time, just because Joe Wilkinson is so pathetic in that show. <laughs> that was like the one moment. It'd be like if, um, uh, what's his name? Um, the Cinnamon. Like, if he won something and, like, absolutely dominated it and turns out that it was fucked, I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling now. Insert anecdote here, let's check out the last part of this video. James has sent me a couple of pictures in the past cursing this task. He sent me this picture. <laughs> there he is. Looks like a pretty big top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We're not all doing as well, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love this as well. It sucks so much that Acaster kind of botched it at the start. He got robbed in this task. Robbed. He got Rob Gilbert. Rob Gilbert? Robbed. 
I got nervous. I got nervous. I'm really good now. <laughs> I'm really good now. Look at him. Oh, this is just the uncut version of this. God, it looks like he's barely moving. I'm genuinely impressed. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't recognize it. They wouldn't recognize it. Screw you, Taskmaster. I'm up for keeping going if you are. Wang. I don't think I had to look at Phil's wang in this whole reaction. No, let him carry on. I just want the audience quiet. <laughs> Can you do two, James? I mean, it is, to... it is impressive, isn't it? It is such a shame we've got to take his first attempt. <laughs> oh. Wow, that went for a long time. Holy shit. He went for about two minutes by my rough calculations. Amazing. Amazing. Two episodes ago, just to the task where she had to walk along a sort of raised fashion runway. <laughs> is this where they name the stage? Before you came here tonight. I got locked in my flat. Yep. <laughs> How the fuck? My husband and my baby are still in that flat and they can't get out. I had to be... What, you locked them back in when you left? <laughs> <laughs> My next door neighbour from Capri Pizza, he, uh, he gave me a five minutes lift out. What the fuck is that? When I was like, is this just the worst task that's ever happened? <laughs> Recreating. Well, to lock yourself in your apartment? So it's genuinely helped you in your real life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I am absolutely in love with Jessica Napper so much more after hearing that story <laughs> hearing her do something ridiculous like get locked inside of her own apartment wow great outtakes season seven there was they left a lot on the cutting room floor I'm sure there's way more um to it than just this it is just two parts right I'm gonna start reacting to more content with Taskmaster contestants uh, but from other stuff they've been doing I did a caster on Great British Bake Off and I reacted to that section of his stand-up comedy set uh, put it all in the one reaction if you haven't seen that go see it go see it go buy your tickets and go to the movies and see it go watch that video because that was a hell of a lot of fun let me know in the comments little tiny videos like little five minute sketches or little stand-up sets or whatever of anyone that's been on taskmaster or anyone that's going to be on like the upcoming season as long as there's no taskmaster spoilers in it Whatever it is, let me know who they are, let me know what season they're from, and uh, I will react to more of these on the channel. Um, in fact, I plan on doing a video watching something of all the members of Season 9 before I start watching Season 9. So uh, I'm compiling that as we speak, and I'm very, very excited to see what that's going to end up being like. But let me know in the comments what you want to see on the channel. Let me know all the good links and, like I say, comedy sketches and shit like that that you want me to have a look at. Patreon.com slash FWCI if you want early access to episodes and a full-length version of this reaction here and other outtakes. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. Took it with the either, with the either, we here. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. With the, with the either, with the either, we here.